this your wife or, um, because you're always talking to her? Get ready to embark on a hilarious ride as we delve into the world of live television gone hilariously wrong. From epic on-air blunders to side-splitting bloopers, these are the moments that will have you gasping for air with uncontrollable laughter and shaking your head in disbelief. These 35 funniest fails caught on live television is something you don't want to miss. Let's dive right in. Number 1. Hilarious Fashion Fails In the world of live TV, something as simple as fashion blunders can steal the show. One unfortunate reporter experienced a major wardrobe malfunction that left everyone in stitches. Perhaps it's time to invest in a dress guardian or seek refuge in a wind-free zone to avoid any future fashion faux pas. After all, maintaining a sense of class and steering clear of unintentional wardrobe mishaps is key in the world of news reporting. Number 2. The Reporter's Unexpected Dive Imagine this. A savvy reporter, aiming to demonstrate the slippery state of the streets, suddenly becomes the story himself. With one misstep, he's submerged in a puddle, creating a wave of laughter for everyone. This soggy stumble wasn't just a splash on the screen, but a dive into the hearts of viewers who love a good chuckle. Next time, he might just report the weather forecast and leave the road testing to the professionals. After all, it's one thing to make headlines. Quite another to become the splashy headline. Number 3. Embarrassing Picasso Mishap During a game among journalists, a female reporter found herself in a hilarious situation that left her feeling embarrassed and eager for a quick exit. While attempting to sketch a simple image, her artistic abilities failed her, resulting in a comical and unidentifiable creation. Her embarrassment was evident as she covered her face with her hands, wishing for the ground to swallow her whole. The room filled with laughter, offering a moment of comic relief for everyone present. While it is known that laughter is the best medicine, for her, it became the perfect remedy to save face in the midst of her Picasso-like mishap. Number 4. Unexpected Pants Down In a shocking and completely unforeseen incident on live television, a veteran reporter experienced a moment of embarrassment that will not soon be forgotten. Just as they were delving into a somber news segment, an unseen prankster took advantage of the opportunity to pull a mischievous stunt, quickly pulling down the pants of the unsuspecting journalist. As the saying goes, if you're not wearing a belt with your suit, you might just find yourself in a pants-down predicament. Number 5. Reporter's Hilarious Fish Fight In a hilarious and unforgettable live TV blunder, a fearless reporter found themselves in quite the fishy predicament during a lively broadcast. With the intention of showcasing the freshest catch of the day at a bustling fish market, the intrepid journalist was caught off guard by an unexpectedly large and slippery fish. As the slippery creature squirmed and flopped in protest, the reporter's valiant efforts to maintain their composure quickly turned into a comical battle of wills. Despite the chaos, the reporter's unwavering determination to capture the aquatic spectacle on camera resulted in a side-splitting scene that spread like wildfire across the internet. The struggle to corral the unruly fish while delivering the news amidst a sea of fins and flapping undoubtedly reeled in laughter from viewers worldwide. Number 6. An award-winning slap. What do you get when you mix a comedian, an actor, and a live TV show? A recipe for disaster. That's what happened at the 94th Academy Awards, when Chris Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith. Her husband, Will Smith, was not amused. He walked up to the stage and slapped Rock hard, then cursed him out loud. Everyone was shocked, and the media had a blast criticizing Smith and the Academy. But the worst part was, Smith didn't even get kicked out. He stayed and won an award later. Talk about awkwardness. Number 7. Weatherman Loses Temper you know how frustrating it is when someone keeps talking over you? Especially when you're trying to explain something important. Well, that's what happened to weatherman Chad Myers on live TV. He was reporting on Hurricane Katrina, a very serious topic. And anchor Carol Costello kept interrupting him with questions. Myers got so fed up that he snapped at her. He even threw his paper in frustration. He later said it was just a joke, but we're not buying it. Number 8. 
Biden's foul-mouthed whisper. You know how some people have a habit of saying things they shouldn't? Well, that's what happened to Joe Biden, the former vice president, on live TV. He was standing next to President Obama, who had just signed the health care bill into law, a historic achievement. Biden was so happy that he leaned in and whispered something to Obama. But it wasn't a nice compliment. It was a swear word that starts with F, and the microphones picked it up loud and clear. Everyone heard it, and everyone was shocked. The media went crazy, and the internet had a field day. Soon, people were wearing t-shirts with Biden's quote, making fun of his blunder. It was a big deal, all right, but not the kind he wanted. Number 9. Little Dancer Steals Show During a live news broadcast, a pint-sized maestro of joy stole the spotlight with an impromptu dance performance, as the serious news anchor meticulously reported the day's headlines. A spirited little girl, aware of the live audience, began an energetic and whimsical dance routine in the background. With unbridled enthusiasm and infectious charm, she twirled, shuffled, and giggled her way into the hearts of viewers. Hey, when you have an audience, you have to take your opportunity at stardom. Well, at least internet stardom. It was a delightful interruption that left everyone smiling and reminded us all to embrace the unexpected moments of joy. Number 10. Turkey Attacks Reporter Being a journalist is no walk in the park. You have to deal with deadlines, competition, and sometimes angry turkeys. That's what happened to this reporter who was doing a live report on the side of the road. He didn't expect to be ambushed by a feisty fowl who didn't like him being there. The turkey pecked at his mic, chased him around, and made a lot of noise. The reporter tried to escape, but the turkey was relentless, and the cameraman just watched and laughed instead of helping. It was a hilarious scene and a viral video, but not a good day for the reporter. Number 11. Hilarious touchscreen moment. Touchscreens are truly amazing, aren't they? We all remember the thrill of getting our first smartphone, but meteorologist Greg Dutra took it to a whole new level during a live weather update on WLS-TV in Chicago. By accident, he touched his screen and suddenly had the power to manipulate the presentation as if by magic. The reaction? Absolutely priceless. He was like a kid in a candy store, and even the anchor couldn't resist getting in on the fun. Number 12. The Hilarious BBC News Blunder Imagine this. You're Carol Walker, about to go live on the BBC News at 9 a.m. You're feeling confident, but there's just a little time to freshen up before the camera starts rolling. So you casually reach for your handbag, ready to work your magic. But oh no, the camera has other plans and cuts to you way too early. There you are, fixing your hair and completely oblivious to the fact that it's only 8.56 a.m. Talk about a hilarious surprise for all the viewers who tuned in. And to top it off, your purse is just chilling on the desk for everyone to see. It's moments like these that remind us all that even TV stars have their not-so-glamorous moments. But hey, at least it gave everyone a good laugh. Number 13. Goatman grabs attention with hilarious stint. Every year, the IG Nobel Prizes bring attention to some of the most offbeat and amusing projects, and Thomas Thwaites' endeavor certainly fit the bill. In a quest for a simpler life, Thwaites spent three days living as a goat, complete with artificial limbs and a diet of grass. When the staff at CTV News covered this peculiar story, they couldn't contain their laughter. As one anchor tried to discuss Thwaites' findings, she burst into giggles, setting off a chain reaction of amusement among the studio anchors. Despite their best efforts to keep a straight face, the visuals of Goatman proved too much to handle. By the end of the segment, the entire studio was in stitches, proving that sometimes the funniest moments on live TV are completely unplanned. Number 14. Reporter's Accident When a reporter decided to show off their axe-throwing skills on live TV, they probably didn't expect to cause a near disaster. Instead of hitting the wooden target, the reporter flung the axe over the fence, where it narrowly missed a group of drummers who were performing behind it. The reporter's face was a picture of shock and horror, while the drummers scrambled to avoid the flying weapon. The viewers couldn't believe their eyes, and neither could the reporter, who apologized profusely for the mishap. Maybe next time, they should stick to something less dangerous, like knitting or Sudoku. Number 15. 
BBC's ticker trouble. BBC News viewers were left baffled and amused when a rude message about Manchester United appeared on the screen during a tennis report. The words, Manchester United are rubbish, scrolled by, followed by an update on a tennis player's progress in a Grand Slam tournament. The message was clearly a mistake, but it sparked outrage among United fans who demanded an explanation. The BBC later apologized and revealed that the message was a test text that was accidentally broadcast by a trainee who was learning how to use the ticker system. The trainee probably didn't mean any harm, but they certainly made their opinion on Manchester United very clear. Number 16. Naked Gardening Gaff. A TV host made a hilarious blunder when he was talking about World Naked Gardening Day on a morning show. The host, Mike Jarek, was trying to make a joke about how he would participate in the event, but he ended up saying something very suggestive instead. His co-host, Alex Hawley, couldn't contain her laughter. While Mike realized his error and tried to correct himself, the viewers were in stitches and so was the internet, which quickly made the clip go viral. It was a classic case of a Freudian slip, or rather, a gardening slip. Number 17. Football Fiasco. Picture this. A live NFL game in Minnesota, and former coach Jim Mora accidentally let slip a comment not meant for the viewers. But wait, it gets better. Anchor Scott Walker, in an attempt to lighten the mood, cracks a joke about Mora losing patience with his fellow commentators, not realizing they were live on air. Mora bursts into laughter and shares his salty opinion of the Joker with his colleagues, unaware of the live broadcast. The situation gets even more hilarious as his colleagues awkwardly agree with Walker, leaving Mora clueless for a moment. When he finally catches on, it leads to a hysterical moment that had viewers in stitches. Number 18. Wacky Weather Woes So, there's this weather guy just doing his job, when suddenly a feisty pelican decides to become a weather bully. Instead of being a cooperative co-worker, the pelican turns into a grumpy bird on a mission to peck and attack the poor reporter. It's like a not-so-friendly work environment. The weather forecast turns into an amusing battle between man and bird, with the pelican giving a whole new meaning to foul weather. Let's just hope the weatherman invests in a pelican-proof umbrella for future broadcasts. Number 17. Yakety Sax Shenanigans Now let's talk about the Chris Bencher scandal in the UK. It was a total disaster, leading to numerous government officials resigning, including none other than Boris Johnson himself. People were thrilled to see him go, and the cherry on top? The music they chose for the media frenzy was absolutely priceless. Here's where it gets juicy. Actor Hugh Grant tweets activist Steve Bray, telling him to play Benny Hill's funny music. And guess what? Bray actually does it. He starts blasting yakety sacks right outside the British Parliament. The whole situation turns into a real-life meme, ending up on live broadcasts and leaving everyone in fits of laughter. That's the sweet taste of comedic revenge. Number 19. Cell phone addiction. We've all been there. You're bored, you have some time to kill, and you can't resist the temptation to check your phone. But what if you're supposed to be working? And worse, what if you're on live TV? That's the nightmare scenario that BBC anchor Joanna Gosling faced. She was caught on camera, phone in hand, when she was supposed to be ready for her segment. She looked shocked and embarrassed, but she quickly recovered and acted like nothing happened. Maybe she was just checking the weather, or maybe she was texting her crush. Either way, she gave the viewers a good laugh. Number 20. Reporter hit by a car. This one is a bit scary, but don't worry, everyone was fine in the end. A reporter was doing a live update on a water main break in Dunbar, West Virginia, when a car came out of nowhere and hit her. The car was going slow, so she only fell down, but it was still a shocking moment. The driver was very apologetic, and the reporter was very professional. She got up and continued with her report, as if nothing had happened. She even went to the hospital later to make sure she was okay. That's what we call dedication, and also luck. Number 21. Hogging the Screen Some people love animals, but some animals don't love people, especially when they're trying to steal their spotlight. A TV journalist learned this the hard way when he was reporting from a farm and a pig decided to join him, but not in a friendly way. The pig started chasing him and trying to bite him while he tried to run away and keep his microphone. 
It was a hilarious scene of a man versus pig showdown, with the pig clearly winning. The journalist was left feeling like a ham, and the pig was left feeling like a star. Maybe the pig just wanted some attention, or maybe it just wanted some breakfast. Number 22. Emma Baker's Live Blunder Live TV can be unpredictable and sometimes hilarious. Just ask Emma Baker, a host at ITV in England. She thought she had some time to adjust her outfit and hair before going on air. To make matters worse, she also thought she could gossip a bit about her co-worker's love life, wondering if he was cheating on his wife with another woman. But she was wrong. She was actually live the whole time, and everyone could see and hear her. The viewers, the crew, and the co-worker himself. Talk about awkwardness. Emma probably wished she could disappear into a hole or at least turn off the camera, but it was too late. Number 23. Amber Heard's Lawyer's Self-Objection Sometimes lawyers can be their own worst enemies. That was the case for Amber Heard's lawyer, who was questioning Johnny Depp's former house manager Ben King in the infamous trial. The lawyer was trying to get King to admit that Depp had a drinking problem and was violent, but King didn't agree and said that Depp was a nice guy. The lawyer was so frustrated that he objected to his own question. The judge had to remind him that he was the one who asked it. Maybe he should have done his homework better. Number 24. Gordon Brown's Hot Mic Moment Politics can be a tricky business, especially when you have to deal with the public. You have to smile, nod, and pretend to care about their opinions. But sometimes, you just can't hide your true feelings. That's what happened to Gordon Brown, the former Prime Minister of Britain, who was campaigning for re-election. He met a woman who complained about immigration, and he tried to act polite and friendly. But as soon as he got into his car, he forgot that he was still wearing a microphone, and he let out his real thoughts. He called the woman a bigoted woman, and the whole thing a disaster. The media had a field day with his blunder and his chances of winning went down the drain. Number 25. Blaming video games gone wrong. Some internet trolls have a twisted sense of humor. They like to make fun of tragic events by spreading false information. For instance, when a former Japanese prime minister was shot dead during a speech, the trolls blamed it on Hideo Kojima, a famous video game designer. They even made up other wild stories involving his games. Unfortunately, some news outlets fell for the hoax and showed pictures of Kojima as the suspect. They soon realized their mistake and apologized, but not before facing legal threats. Number 26. Pokemon Go Interrupts Weather Pokemon Go was a huge hit in 2016, but it also caused some trouble. Just ask Allison Croft, a news anchor in Florida. She was so hooked on the game that she walked right into the weather segment, unaware that she was on live TV. She interrupted Bobby Deskins, the weatherman, who was shocked by her intrusion. She later posted the video on her Facebook page with a humorous comment. That moment when you realize you might be addicted to Pokemon Go. It's a lesson to pay attention to your surroundings while playing the game. Number 27. Daydreaming on live television. We all daydream at work sometimes, but we hope no one notices. Well, Natasha Exelby was not so lucky. She was caught on live TV playing with her pen and zoning out. She snapped out of it when she heard her name, but it was too late. She had already embarrassed herself in front of millions of viewers. She lost her on-air shifts as a result. But many people supported her and signed a petition to bring her back. They appreciated her human side, even if it meant being caught off guard. Number 28. Rogue Camera on the Loose Live TV can be unpredictable, and sometimes technology has a mind of its own. That's what happened when a remote-controlled camera went rogue in the studio and started moving by itself while a reporter was trying to deliver the news. As it slowly crawled across the stage, you could see the reporter's panic as he had to play a live game of cat and mouse. He managed to keep his cool, though, and carried on like nothing was wrong. Number 29. Girl Crashes Minister's Interview the Minister of State for Civil Aviation was giving a serious and important interview outside of Parliament. But then, out of the blue, a cheeky girl popped up behind him and spoiled the perfect shot. Talk about a hilarious interruption during a live broadcast. It was like when you're taking a nice photo and suddenly your friend photobombs you. The Minister's moment was definitely ruined. 
and it must have been a shock for everyone involved. Number 30. Weatherman's Rude Gesture Sometimes, during a live news show, you get to see what happens behind the scenes. In this hilarious incident, weatherman Thomas Schaffer Knocker probably wished he was invisible. His colleague Simon McCoy was announcing that the weather report would be very detailed and accurate, and the camera suddenly switched to Schaffer Knocker, who was caught off guard. He accidentally gave the one-finger salute. Oops. He quickly tried to cover it up as a chin scratch, but it was too late. The anchor couldn't help but laugh and make fun of him, making it a memorable TV moment. Number 31. Sasha Baron Cohen's Prank Sasha Baron Cohen is a master of comedy. He knows how to make people laugh even if it means shocking them first. He did just that at an awards show, where he pulled off a prank involving an elderly person in a wheelchair. It looked like he accidentally pushed the person off the stage, causing a gasp from the audience. It was all part of his act, of course, and it surely got some laughs later on. But at the time, it was quite a surprise for everyone watching. Number 32. Reporter Gets Soaked One adventurous reporter embarked on a quest to get an interview with a man, only to encounter the hazards of her pursuit. As fate would have it, the man in question did not want to be interviewed, and he turned the interview into a wet and wild affair. While waving his hands and having a nervous grin, he decided to douse the interviewer with a cooler that was full of water in his hand, in order to get her away from him. Even in the pursuit of journalistic glory, one has to be prepared for the unexpected and stay on their toes or risk getting a refreshing surprise straight to the face. Number 33. Blizzard Blows Away Reporters Live TV can be challenging, and sometimes you have to brave the elements. That's what these two weather reporters did when they tried to give you the latest update on a blizzard. They were not ready for the strong winds that blew their hats off and messed up their hair. One of them held on to his microphone for dear life, while his tie flew like a flag. The other one lost his hat, which spun like a frisbee. They risked frostbite and humiliation, and showed that reporting the weather can be a hair-raising experience. Number 34. Contestant Trips Oversign Live TV can be exciting and sometimes you get carried away by your emotions. That's what this contestant did when she was so happy that she didn't notice the giant depot sign in front of her. She tripped over it and fell to the ground, ruining her moment of glory. It was like winning the lottery and then losing the ticket. She was ecstatic, but got a reality check, or rather a floor check. She learned that happiness can be a slippery slope, and you have to watch your step. Number 35. Reporters Jump Scare Surprise In the midst of a live news segment, a focused reporter unexpectedly turned into the main character of a jump scare comedy. Deep in concentration, she was oblivious to the prankster lurking behind. With a swift pop into view, the prankster's surprise act sent the reporter into a momentary frenzy, her scream breaking the news in a way no one anticipated. It's a lesson learned. Never startle a reporter on air, but if you do, make sure it's hilariously memorable. Thanks for watching, friends. For a more thrilling video, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen.